Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, I'm outside of the entrance to Pleasure House Point and I have a whole new setup to play with today and I'm gonna show you that. It's heavy as shit though. So I'm gonna wait until I actually get in there and get set up because I'm not gonna dick around here on the side of the road or while I'm carrying it because it's seriously heavy. <laughs> so you'll see what I mean when I show you. But today it is, hmm. It's 84 degrees, so it's it's hotter. It's a little bit more humid, but it's mostly cloudy, so that should help cut down on, on the sun, and there's a decent breeze going. Uh, I'm going to be using the ZV-1, and I'm continuing to use the Rode Wireless Go just because of the way I'm doing this uh, so that I can show you what I'm doing today, and we're gonna have a lot of fun, and hopefully we're gonna get a lot of bird pictures. So. That you know, it's a crapshoot, but I uh, can always at least find one yellow crusted night heron, so we should be good to go. All right, let's head into the park. All right, kids, so here's the setup I have got the A7R4 with the Sony 200 to 600, but I also have my Atomos Ninja 5 external monitor slash recorder hooked up to the HDMI port on the A7R4. So that way, I can actually record straight from the sensor what I'm taking a picture of. Pretty exciting, huh? Wow, I thought this dug into my shoulder and neck before I put all this shit together. Holy crap. Okay, since I see this one over here on this branch, I decided that I wanted to take the time to actually get some shots of it before I set the ZV-1 up on the tripod to film me filming them. So I'll show you on the screen here. So now you can see him over there just hanging out on that branch. And now I'm gonna start recording there. So now I am recording what I'm shooting on the A7R4 with the 200 to 600. Right now I put it into crop mode and I'm going to show you the difference. If I can get my hand on it. All right, so we're in crop mode. Now we're in full frame mode. So that's full 61 megapixels and then that's 26 megapixels. So it goes in quite a bit. And now I'm gonna shoot. So basically, and that's a yellow-crowned night heron in one of its forms. They look different depending on if they're juveniles or adults and they tend to do this and that's they find a, a place to, to hang out and then they just sit there and they don't move as you can see he will just sit there and i really dig in having this on the monitor because it's showing me that it's perfectly in focus okay so i did see uh, another yellow-billed egret, and I got some shots of it. I, just, I tried to move closer though, the fisherman spooked it off, and before I could even get the camera off my shoulder, it, it was already gone. Somewhere over there. Okay, so there's a yellow-billed egret over there. But I'm gonna set this down. And here you can see, he's being a good model. See how they curl up like that and they look really small. So right now there's just all kinds of stuff out here, jumping and flopping in the water and everything. So plenty for these things to hunt 
See, he's just feasting. It's like a smorgasbord out here for him. And I'm surprised that, that it's where it is because it's really close to all these people. I don't know if you can pick up the sounds, but I mean, not even 50 yards away. Uh, there, there's all these people. The girl with the blue hair. You know, that's not that far away from where this thing is. Looks like he found something else to get. Now, I'm pretty close. Right now, it's on crop mode, so let me show you. Okay, that's full frame mode, and I'm at 600. And there I am at 200. So we'll do that in reverse. 600. 900. Statuesque fella. I think I got enough of him. I'm trying to, to not like be crazy and take 2,000 pictures of, of each bird. I'm pretty happy though that he's there. And I'm happy that I've walked all the way over here because I usually don't come all the way over here, especially where I cross the water back there. Because most of the time there's nothing back here because there's too many people over there making too much noise. So again, I'm shocked because even though they're making a lot of noise, I mean, that guy's there. There's another one just right back there. I see a bunch that flew out over there. <laughs> so there's lots of birds out here today. Very cool. All right. I've been back here for a couple hours now and I've got some great picks. I, I was able to get a bunch of the yellow-billed egret over there and also as I was walking away I managed to get what I think was a green heron but it was so blended in with its background right there on the water that I couldn't be sure. In fact if I hadn't seen it fly to that spot I wouldn't even have known there was a bird there. And I guess that's the name of the game. So I did get that. While I was sitting here trying to get myself situated to get a drink of water, I had one heron fly across the lake towards me, zip right through those trees to the other lake over there. Couldn't get set up fast enough. And then even though I've looked for about 15 minutes all over in those trees over there and didn't see anything, one flew out of there and went to the other side of the lake. And I missed that one too. So. Not much success, I think, with flying birds. And my heart rate is like really high because I've been lugging this shit around. But all in all, I mean, I think this was pretty successful and I'm gonna pay for it because this setup is so heavy. I mean, that, that ninja in the cage, being the way that it sits on top of the camera, shifts the weight balance and it's already heavy to begin with, so I'm gonna pay for it on the old traps in the neck, but that's okay, because I had a good time. Um, the other success for today was just getting out here and enjoying myself, because I needed it, especially after losing all day yesterday to actually working. So I am very much happy that I got to come out here, and there is a really nice breeze, although it is a lot warmer and a little bit more humid, but that's okay. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing the footage that I shot off of the sensor of the A7R4. I know I said I would never film with it, but you know, after seeing that happen with other creators and wondering how they did it, and then thinking to myself, well, wait a minute, I'm not taking away from taking the pictures by using the A7R4. And since I have an external recorder, you know, I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't do it other than the, um, the extra weight. And the incon not the inconvenience, but I had to be a little bit more careful. In fact, when I just sat down here, the ninja had disconnected from the camera and was hanging by the cable. So I lucked out that that cable was in there good with the cable holder and that I got it before it fell because who, who knows what kind of damage could happen there. So that being said, I probably have about half the battery life on that big ass battery that comes with the ninja. And I had a spare one. Well, I put it in this bag and I'm good to go there. All this technology is amazing. And kudos to Sony 
because this camera is just unbelievable and it is an absolute pleasure to shoot with and capture all these pictures of these gorgeous birds and whatever else that I happen to get along the way. And of course, my trusty run and gun ZV-1 is fantastic as well to capture me sitting here backlit so that you can't really see what I'm doing except some of my movements. All right, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you today. I am going to call my wife and see if she wants to have an ice cream lunch and maybe go for ice cream. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.